Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got a painted polish and this one's called Celtic Crelly and I'm going to stamp over it. And there's a bonus, I'm going to be testing some peel off base coats. This is the Unt peel off base coat and it's called Ready for Takeoff. And then I have Nail Pattern Boldness and this is Glitter Appeal. This was the first one I ever tried and this is my second bottle of it. Back in the day, it was really the only one out there, back when I first bought it. And then next, I have Dainty Digits Glitter Be Gone. And for this test, I am probably going to do two coats of each one on all of my nails, just to give it a, you know, a fair shake. And this is the NYC. Um, I can't remember the name of it, but it's the N, you know, NYC kind of a glue-based peel-off face coat. And I think I just got this one at my local Walmart. The other three you do have to buy online, so that is a difference between the four right off the bat. And here we are. I am going in with my second coat. I figured this would be a good time to test it since I was going to be using a Crelly Glitter Bomb. <laughs> it would be a good time to test on this stuff. And as usual, I had to break up my orangewood stick because you guys know I'm a ninny. I've got to you know, use that orangewood stick. It's a habit. And this is actually an older video. <laughs> I actually recorded this one um, probably over a month ago. <clears throat> Excuse me. It was after the uh, St. Patrick's Day manicure. Um, I got my hands on this beautiful polish I'll be showing you here very soon. And here it is. And it's painted polish and it's called Celtic Crelly. I will try to remember to leave a link down below for it. I don't know if it's still available. Um, but I had a friend, uh, JKB, turn me onto this polish. She saw it and she said, you've got to get this. So, of course, I ran out there and got it. And then I told her I got it and I was telling her about my manicure. And she said, don't post it on your channel yet because I want to get it. And she had to wait, you know, a little while before she could place her order and so since she had turned me into it I decided I would wait and um, you can see it's going on very nicely and so I you know recorded it and I, I did my little manicure and recorded it and put it off to the side and then here recently when I did my giveaway video Joanna McLeod asked me she said what is on your other hand <laughs> and um, I had to go back and look I wasn't sure and I was like oh my goodness and I couldn't believe looking back through all of my YouTube videos that I had never posted this one and I realized that I had put it on hold because I was waiting for my friend to get her hands on her bottle of polish she was very worried that if I posted my video that it would get bought up and she wouldn't get a chance to buy it so funny how things work out but I want to thank Joanna McLeod big time for bringing this to my attention because this was one that I really did like and after I, like I said after I found it in my video vault I went through and it was all ready it was all geared up cleaned up and edited and had the music on it and everything all I needed to do was the voiceover <laughs> so I just I couldn't let it skip by without sharing this one but this is a beautiful Crelly. It's got green and gold, and it's just, uh, I'm, I really, really did love this one. It's just a beautiful polish. And as you can see, it's definitely taken two coats. It's looking pretty good on two coats. Now I'm going to top it off with some slush feet. Because you guys know I can't leave it alone. I'm going to have to do something to it. Just cannot help myself. 
Isn't that pretty? <laughs> and I would really wanted it for St. Patrick's Day, but it wasn't in the budget at the moment. So uh, I got in after the St. Patrick's Day. Uh, got my allowance and I went running off like a kid to a candy shop and had to take care of my nail polish fix and grab this one up while I could. And I'm sure there are polishes similar to it or like it out there. I, I just, when I saw it, I knew I had to have it. Very pretty. And it looks good just like that, doesn't it? <laughs> Can't leave anything alone, though. So here we go. We're going to be using this BPLO50 plate. And I'm going to be stamping with the Born Pretty Gold and a Green. And I'm going to use this big fat stamper, my Faber Nail Scraper. And we're just going to do like a forgot what they call these. <sighs> kind of like a smushy stamping. I don't know what to call it. <laughs> but we're going to mix the colors on the plate and just kind of get a swirl of colors. And I'm, of course, covering up all that beautiful curliness. And you guys know I have trouble. Sometimes I manage to do the accent nails, but a lot of times I just go bonkers and I have to put designs on all of them. Um, in my defense, I just I can't help myself. I'm a stamping addict. And you can see there's no rhyme or reason when you do these kinds of stamping. You just put some drops of polish just, just kind of all over and scrape, scrape. And these images are picking up really nice. I do like this stamper. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I don't know where I got this one. I think it was an AliExpress stamper. I'm thinking that's what this one was. But it's very possible this one. Wait a minute. I think this one might be my fake big bling stamper one that I got from Wish. There we go. We got some cleanup to do, don't we? And I'm going to see if my tape trick will work. It's working pretty good. And it's not really my tape trick, but since I'm using it, I guess I get to claim it a little bit. But I'm not the one that came up with it. But what works, works. And I'm going to go in off camera, it appears with my cleanup brush and I'm going to do a little bit of cleaning up. There we go. Look at that. And once again, we're going to top this one off with some Sesh Beat. Look how pretty. Very nice. There we go. And yeah, some more orange wood stick. Joanna, I want to thank you again for reminding me of this video. I really do appreciate it, girl. What was on your other hand? <laughs> there we go. And there that one is. Very nice. Turned out pretty good, I think. So now we're going to do the removal. And we're going to see, and of course I've worn this for a couple of days, <clears throat> or at least a day. I, I wouldn't have gone to that tr much trouble for less than a day. Um, I'm trying to get these off. And of course this first one is the Unt Pilaf base, and I'm struggling with it, which is really unusual. I normally have had pretty good luck with the Pilaf base. Unt ready for takeoff peel off base. I've normally had pretty good luck with it, but this one is just being stubborn. But yay, it finally came off, and I did get most of it off with one piece, so that's pretty successful. Next is the nail pattern boldness, and again, the off camera queen strikes again. There we go. Oh. But too soon. 
And this one's coming off. I mean, it's coming off in one piece. And I know it looks like I'm really giving it a lot of pressure, but I, I promise you I'm not. I'm not pushing down very hard. And I do try to go in up under and get that off too. There we go. So that one came off almost in one piece. A couple of little pieces, not too bad. And here is the Dainty Digits. And a lot of you that have watched my videos know that I use this one quite often. I really, really like this one. And I'm just going to be kind of spoiler. But I, you, you guys know I really do like this one. And that one came off pretty much in one piece. One little bitty piece over on the side where my nail was so curvy. And then next is the NYC. Let's see how it does. Maybe, maybe not. We might not show it on camera at all. You know, it's just that kind of day. <laughs> Goodness gracious, girl. There we go. Now this one actually surprised me. I didn't expect it to do so well, but it actually did pretty good. And the thing that's nice about it is it's so readily available. I've seen it in Walmart and other stores, so you don't have to order it offline. So here's a little recap of what all the little peelies looked like. And Danny Digit wins! Thanks for watching, and until next time, be good to yourself. Bye!